Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a great new year. In fact, I hope this few days of a new year has been really, really good for you. Hope you're in a great spirit and ready for what's waiting for us in a new year. Today I have a testing video for you as I promised in the Primark haul. I got some Primark makeup bits um, and I said I will obviously show you how it works. I used it once um, so it's not exactly going to be my very first impression but I only like swatched it and just use a little bit over Christmas so a full test is going to be right here for you guys with you guys um, and yeah let's get started as you can tell I already have my base and um, because what we're going to test today is what I got last time uh, from Primark which is just to remind you and myself and um, that smoke out um, eyeshadow palette uh, it costs three pounds as you can see oops and um, it's nine shades and as you can tell they all quite dark because as the name of the palette says smoke out it's mainly to do like a smoky eye smoky look obviously you have some great light shadows um shadows shades so you can create everyday look even uh, without using the last row which contain all black colors them to have a glitter pink and blue and this one is just matte black so if you um, want to do a proper matte proper you know black smoky eye you can obviously uh, you have quite big of a choice nine um, shades quite all right three pound brilliant price another thing for eyes it's a liquid eyeshadow a liquid glitter eyeshadow um, and I have two sort of colors the, it was only two available um, I took the packaging off um, but I'm pretty sure this one which looks just like a goldy standard gold color and um, this one is called silver and this that is like a coppery gold and um, this is called pink like who chose the names to those products like silver which is clearly gold and pink which is clearly copper is not pink so I don't know but that's how how they called mm. and the last product which is no um, uh, eye product <laughs> thank God for that and um, I don't think I could put everything on my eyes and um, at the same time it's a highlighter which is called a double dimension highlighter um, cost me three pounds as you can tell by its sticker mine is in the shade goddess it looks like this and um, it has a very pretty uh, pattern that is like very wintry with a big snowflake um, this one was available in two shades I don't know the name of the other one but it was really dark this one was the light one and then they had the other one that it was very coppery um very dark definitely too dark for my complexion which is why i gone for the goddess so and this one it does look like it's like um goldy with oh, i don't know golden with like um a bit of a pinkish maybe greenish shy um we'll see how it how it looks on um on the face later on so I um, I would like to start with my eyes so um, that's how they look like with the with the names on so the sinner and midnight uh, are the only matte shades and sinner is like that very basic crease I would say color um, and it's like a like a brownish sort of nudie color and then uh, midnight is that matte black and that's the only two matte colors in the palette and um, then we have one two 
three, I would say, um, shimmery uh, colours, like a pearly ones. Um, and that's um, Nightingale, Rain and Crystal, which is this one, that one and that one. Uh, sorry, that one. <laughs> that's the sinner. Um, that's the crystal. Um, so yeah, first, a second and the middle one. And then the rest, which is this one, that one, that one, not that one. First two and first in, in the low, um, in the last row. Um, they contain glitter, so they like a sort of like a glittery um, eyeshadows. And the name for those four, they're Twisted, Cruel, <laughs> and then Smoked and Onyx. So... Uh, we will start with Cine, which is the only matte colour um, that is in the palette. Um, and I'm just going to pop that in my uh, crease, just to give it a base. No problems there. As you can tell, very nice, very basic brownie colour. Like I said, the only one apart from the black one that is matte, so don't really have a much choice, but yeah, it looks alright. It works alright. I started with the crease and then blend it down, so um, we cover most of the eyelid because that's our base. Easy, very easy to use. Um, please with that. Now, um, I'm thinking to try that crystal one, which is the middle one, and put it in like a um, middle section of my eyelid. Okay. Let's see how that works. Ooh, that is quite dark, actually. It's quite nice. It's quite metallic. So I'm just trying to press it. And there it is. Um yeah, we I'm not I'm not gonna do much with it. Um I just popped it for like a guide for myself how far I want to go with the black um, eyeshadow um, and yeah so not much to say but yeah it, it gone on, on quite well can't complain um, okay so <clears throat> so now we're gonna go I'm thinking maybe that pink one. See how the pink glitter look like. Okay, so with my small brush. Okay, I'm not sure if that glitter is only on the top layer of the eyeshadow, so I'm not sure. I can't really tell. Uh, I can't see a little bit of it on the brush, so let's see how it goes. And I'm going to just put it in the outer corner. grab the same brush that I put 
that uh, middle one which is crystal and I'm just gonna try to blend with that black shadow okay now a little bit of I would try this one because it does it does seems to have a little bit of silver glitter but not too much so it might be all right and it's quite similar to that matte that we use as a base and I just want to pop it underneath my eyes and this one is called twisted so on a flat brush Okay, so that was really easy to use. Now, I can see that I have a tiny bit fallout. I don't know if you will be able to see it. But it's not much and is expected to happen with the dark eyeshadows. So. Uh, one thing I can't say, um, the glitter that is in the shadows definitely falling on to my skin under my eyes. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's not much, but just to be aware, that is there. Um, so... I'd say carefully with with the ones that have a lot of glitter and <clears throat> I'm just going to go with Nightingale which is this very white pearly colour and just go into in my inner corners not too heavy just a little bit to make it tiny bit brighter and yeah that's all right <clears throat> okay so I think for three pound they are quite quite all right the black shadow didn't actually crumble too much. I had a little bit of fallout. Um they are quite creamy rather than dry, which is which is a very good um thing. <laughs> um so I didn't have too much fallout from the black shadow. I had a few speckles but nothing too too bad. But I have to point out them glitter glittery ones um did give me a bit of glitter under eye um, so yeah so maybe it would be best to do the eyes first and then the base just to be on the safe side um, unless you don't mind to have a glitter it under eyes then that's completely fine um, but it did blend quite well and the black as you can tell is really nice pigmented I, I personally really like it for three pound it is excellent a little eyeshadow palette which you can definitely make a very nice smoky eye with so yeah plus from uh, me definitely now on to the glitter liquid eyeshadows and I think um oh one more thing I know I used the one uh, that it's called onyx with the pink glitter although you can't really tell That I had pink glitter, so I think it was just the glitter that it was just like on the top, um, and the rest of it is just like slightly um, shimmery black eyeshadow, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try that coppery one, which is um, which is called pink. 
and I think I would like to like pop it in the middle section I don't want to put it too high. I think we need to leave it to dry now because if I start to do too much now while it is wet it will just take the eyeshadow off because it is quite wet so um, I'll be back in a minute right so I finished my eyes uh, as you can tell I have I put some falsies on I put some mascara on um, and I've done my lips um, and that's a lipstick from Primark as well but it's not new um, that's why I didn't show you I also used um, Primark lip pencil and this one is in the shade Rosewood Move 09 apparently I think that's the but it's definitely Rosewood Move so um that's how it looks like it's like a pinkish um color um i got it a while ago um but i believe they still have it uh, i don't know if they still a pound but i got mine for a pound um and then i used ps insta girl intense liquid lipstick um satin finish this one was on sale last summer i think um so it is like six months old at least um, but I absolutely love it. I love this colour, which is um, It Girl. That's the colour, It Girl. And it's like a very beautiful pinkish um, colour. I absolutely love it. Mm. So that's the look with the lashes and the with lipstick. And the last thing that we have to test is, of course, a highlighter. Um, it's the moment that we're all waiting for. Uh, most of us uh, anyway so let's get it open yeah. it does look really really nice and bright in the pan I'm scared oh wow can you see that this is beautiful That is just stunning. And I didn't, I just swirled once. It's just beautiful. That is absolutely wonderful. Can you see it? I hope you can because I definitely can. Um, yeah, it is a very bright, I mean, in a good way, very, very highlighting. Um, it does have, like I said, it's a golden, with like, um, bit of pink and, I don't know, green, maybe, almost like, sheen to it. So, what's the word, iridescent, I think? Is that the word? I hope it is. Um, so yeah, I'm a, a huge fan of that highlighter. I wouldn't say it's a day-to-day -day highlighter. I wouldn't say I would use it during the the, the day, um, purely because it is blinding. But if that's what you like, then it's perfect for you, um, for any occasion. Um, I would most definitely uh, reserve it for, you know, evening events when I want my makeup to be just like now popping um, and uh, yeah 
I will definitely use it again. Um, but like I said, for me, uh, it is a bit much for a day-to-day -day makeup, everyday makeup. Um, but it's perfect for um, evening makeup. <sighs> Wonderful. Absolutely stunning. Um, so for three pound, guys, um, if you haven't tried it, I recommend um, definitely. If you have fair skin um, or medium skin, just like me, this is absolutely gorgeous. So for three pound, you can't go wrong. Um, and I said every single product that I bought. Um, so them glittery eyeshadows and the smoke out palette they all cost three pound each so for three pound guys i created a look that looks definitely more expensive than three pound thanks so very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that little video hope you enjoyed my little test thank you very much guys and i'll see you next time Bye bye